Hey, I'm Slopcore. And at some point six years ago, I played some weird ass provocative cookie clicker fever dream of an exponential growth simulator involving the production of paper clips through a rapidly developing artificial intelligence. That game, which at the time I played through a web browser, is called Universal Paper Clips. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I hope this video can provide some interesting history and context on this wild game, as well as a modern ancestor which has realized that same idea into something less serious and less complex, but more endearing and more fun. Realized in 2017 and made available for free right on the internet, Universal Paperclips immerses the user into what at first seems like a very simple, silly little game about producing paperclips. Let's just start from here. We've got to make some paperclips. Okay, let's buy a couple more auto clippers. Fuck, we might need to buy more wire. Oh, 14! $45. Raising the price has actually lowered my profits. However, just as the creator would apparently spend nine months working on what was originally supposed to take a single weekend, the player is quickly sucked into a gameplay experience far more intense and a narrative far deeper than they expect going into it. The improved wire extrusion. 368. I'm running out of inventory, supply, and demand. The demand. The supply. The supply is 4800. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> Give me my money! Where's my fucking money? Uh, fix global warming and world peace and cure cancer. 230,000? We need photonic chips for the quantum computing. Okay. I hate, I hate investing. Yo! You would think if you were at a surplus of 63, 68 clips per second. Oh, let's buy the Autonomous Aerial Brand Ambassadors. The addiction to producing paper clips, nine clips per second. Incredible. Followed by the satisfaction of then selling them. 10 cents is expensive for a paper clip, dude. Yeah, tell that to 80% of the world. Followed by the drive to increase production of the paper clips. Oh shit, we have computational resources all come together to form a triadic gameplay loop more engaging than even some AAA games. Through themes involving AI development, quantum computation, galactic expansion, stock market manipulation, a logistic gambling simulator, and a profound microcosmic depiction of the futility of capitalism and imperialism, Universal Paperclip achieves more through an HTML code conceivable in the 90s than what multi-million dollar studios are able to scratch the surface of with hundreds of talented minds and millions of dollars at their service. Universal Paperclips is a magnificent exhibition on what humans are capable of creatively, even when given the most extreme restrictions. And for that reason, it has rested quite homely in my subconscious ever since. So imagine my great excitement upon discovering the new indie game, the NORP Apologue. Released on December 13th, 2023, the NORP Apologue follows the journey of the NORPs as you guide them towards their goal of delightfully excessive wealth accumulation. In this game, the NORPs are your auto clippers, the shards are your paper clips, and this rock is your bitch. Alright, okay, what is this shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck is all this? Dude, I, I don't know how to read. Wow, wow. Whoa, that's a big rock. It sure looks mysterious. I better click it. <laughs> Hell yeah, they're so excited. Okay, so yeah, once you click the rock, the shards come out of it and the norps will collect them. Okay. Oh, fuck, they're building the stash. Nice. If the shard is close enough, it will fly into the star, the, uh, the, 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 the star. Yeah, okay, th that's great. Uh, where are the norps? Don't they collect them? Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. All right. Well, just, just give me one quick minute then. All 
right, now we have 52 shards. Well, that was easy. It's time to build something new. The express, oh, oh, the express club is the recommended choice. Oh, oh, well, I guess if the Norps are too lazy, I don't, I don't even need them. I don't, I'll take the slam club. That sounds cooler anyways. Oh, interesting choice. Oh, that's an interesting choice. Oh, okay. Oh, sh oh, yeah, sure. All right, let's employ a slammer. Their heads are hard, and so is their job. Yeah, oh, their job is hard. Their job is hard. Yeah, for now, you'll have to continue collecting shards manually, but soon you'll have enough to buy something else. Okay, yeah, that's. I'm excited for that. I guess I'll just leave them at it for a couple hours then. Don't, don't hit the rock too hard. <laughs> Great, great that was super easy it's time to just i'm gonna collect all this stuff real quick give me one second oh my god fuck this Dude, holy shit. Oh my god. I'm so done with that. How, what, what can I buy? The House of Shards. Yeah, okay, sure. Let's get some runners too. Holy shit. I'm not clicking a, another goddamn shard as long as I live. here archery range yeah that sounds pretty good norp propulsion lab oh okay coco cafe rock analysis lab gun versus rock well uh yeah that sounds good uh okay we need a lot of norps so actually i need to buy a lot of housing oh hey it shows me up here my damage and collection rates wow that's that'll be helpful Oh, I can get the Mountaineers, and then that way I can make sure the pile doesn't get too high, triggering a compression event too early. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, I wonder if fire arrows do anything. Oh, gee, oh, geez, oh, wow. Okay, I've got a couple drones now. I can almost get adaptive learning. It's 21 million! The YX1AB. Norp scientists believe they have invented a new tool for success. So, in conclusion, I think that Universal Paperclips and the Norp Apolog make for some really interesting games. It is very cool to see just how uh, the developers made them so engaging despite their nature of design to be neglected and automated. And I hope I have both shown you that and, and also not shown so much as to spoil your playthrough.